Hello everyone. This is part two of our VLOOKUP series. If you have a chance, go back and check out part one as we go over everything in detail. But let's go ahead and do a quick review. In the first VLOOKUP tutorial, we went over how to transfer data from one reference table to another and one of the benefits of this is you don't have to go to this table and look it up and copy it and then paste it. You can use a data element, in this case the state column. Both tables have that in common as a reference point. And then you can use the VLOOKUP or vertical lookup from this reference table to return a data element to the right of that reference column. So again, both of these tables have the state name in common and in order for the VLOOKUP formula to work you want your reference point or element in common to be in the far left column of both tables. And let's go ahead and show you how to do this so in the first video, we did a VLOOKUP and transferred data from one table to another on the same tab. This time we want to do it when you have data on one tab and then you want to transfer it to another tab. So we're going to use this same reference table and transfer data from this table to another table on this tab here. And in this case, we're, we want the capital. So we have a set of states, and we want to get the capital for each of these states. So let's go ahead and hit equals. And if you want, you can also click on this formula button and hit create formula. And then you can choose the formula from the right sidebar or type it in. V lookup, hit enter. Our first parameter search for is what the two tables have in common. That would be the far left column, and that would be California. So it's going to search for California in the other reference table and then return some column of data to the right of that reference point. Then we want the set of data that this formula will search and this is where we're going to go to the other table and we're going to go ahead and select this entire let's start over sorry about that California go back to the other table we're going to go ahead and select this entire table we don't need all of that data, but it's okay in this case to go ahead and select all of that data because if at some point we changed which column of data we wanted, we could just simply return this return column number. So in this case, we're going to put in a 2 because A is 1 and B is 2. But if at some point later we wanted the admission to the union, we could change this number to 4 because admission to union column D is number 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we want an uh, exact match. Hit the check mark. Okay, now I want to show you again. I did not lock those down. I want to show you again what happens when you don't lock those, when you don't have the correct cell references. Okay, it doesn't work. So what we want to make sure we do is in the first video I locked everything down and that worked and that's okay in this instance. And we'll go over the cell references more because it's a tricky topic to master right off the bat. It's not something uh, normally that comes intuitively but let's go ahead and lock these rows hit the check mark 
copy it down, and now we should have a working VLOOKUP. And as I mentioned before, I always like to do some random checks just to make sure everything's working okay. So California, Sacramento, that looks good. Boston, Massachusetts, that looks good. Dover, Delaware, Atlanta, Georgia, Austin, Texas. Okay, so it looks like everything's working well here. Now I want to go back and go over the cell references again real quick. So in the first video, we locked all the cell references down. We, we actually did this. And that works okay in this instance. However, what you really only need to do in this case is lock the, lock the rows. And I want to show you. Actually, let's show you what happens when you do it incorrectly. Okay, so we, we have some errors and we can see right off the bat for the first cell it's working fine because this light magenta color, that highlight is showing you that the entire table is being referenced to pull in data to this table. However, as we go down, as that magenta color goes away, and by the time we get all the way down to Texas, Everything in white here, and that's not highlighted in this light magenta color, I guess that is, is not being referenced, so that data could not be pulled in. So in order for all of that data to be allowed to be pulled in, you have to lock the cell references. And to do that, you do that here in this parameter here. And if you lock it all down, that's okay. But really, we only need to do, well, let's show you, if you only do the columns, it still won't work because as you go down, those cell references don't stay where they need to stay. So in this case, what we really need is the row, and you don't have to have the column, but if you lock the columns, it'll still work. Because we're not going to the right, in this case, locking the columns would be okay. But let's just lock the rows and show you. Copy this down. And it works. Okay? So that's a quick review of what we did in the first video. A review of cell references, and we'll do more videos and talk more about cell references, how they work. I have to play around with them from time to time myself to make sure I get them right. And then we showed you how to do a VLOOKUP when your reference table is on a different tab. So that's it for this part of the VLOOKUP series, and we'll be doing more VLOOKUP videos in the future. So join us next time.